Today, we shine a spotlight on the unsung hero of the tech world, mm. the mm. humble delete button. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Thank the good Lord. Think of how many times it saved you mm -hmm. when your spouse tried to check your search history. What? what? Delete. <laughs> when you accidentally texted that photo of yourself to a family member. Oh. Oops. Uh -oh. Delete. Yeah. When you got an email from your mom reminding you to pay your own cell phone bill this oh. year. Delete. And block. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's, yeah, we're going to honor the block button. Yeah, right, but there's one place <laughs> nothing gets deleted, and that's our loser line answering machine. Oh, yes. Those messages go straight on the air when we play a brand new batch of them in the loser line coming up at 710. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on. Just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say you're volunteering at the senior home mm. about ready to draw out a bingo ball when this guy approaches you and says, mm, excuse me, uh? are you a pizza box? What? Because I can't wait to get your top off. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Smells delicious. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah. Cheese. After that, whatever you do, make sure to grab his dauber and then give him the numbers of the loser line. So yeah. hopefully he leaves an awkward voicemail that we can play over the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Liam, it's Rebecca. Um, the, the girl that you bought the, the, mar the margarita for. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, even just. Saying the word, I, I get the taste in my mouth. Oh. Um, oh. I just don't think that mar mar margaritas are for me. Um, oh. But thank you. I'm just so embarrassed that I just did that all over your Huevos Rancheros. Oh. I can, um, I'll Venmo you. You know, I have your number now. So um, it's so weird. I like, I definitely have had margar. Oh. Excuse me. I definitely had that drink before. I think I was just so nervous. I mean, you were like, you're really hot. So oh. Maybe that was it. Next message. Oh. Oh. <laughs> just so defeated. Oh, my Yikes. God. You guys I have mean, any drinks that you can't even drink? Peanut schnapps. Oh, <laughs> immediately. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to. You should have said that to begin with, <laughs> yeah. Alexis. That's not something that is. That's no, disgusting from the get-go. Don't, don't drink it straight, Alexis. Yeah. <laughs> disgusting. At least she was able to get it out without yeah, gagging. Yeah, I guess. I'm just or, worried that this woman puked on huevos because. Yes. That is yeah. Come on. Pretty yeah. early in the morning. <laughs> that's a good point. I didn't think of yeah. that. We did learn that she has a gag reflex so yeah. sorry jose about that <laughs> oh, too not bad. Needed around me. next message hey jane it's oh man last night was crazy which is why i wanted to give you a call um my family we just are all pranksters so mm -hmm. i want to do a practical joke on my mom so what i was thinking is meet up with my mom pretend we've been hiding our relationship for a long time she's gonna ask us how long we've been dating okay and at this point, you drop the bomb. You say, wow, your friends are going to be so jealous, mom, because you look way too young to be a grandma. Whoa. Right? <laughs> it's going to be funny because she's going to be totally thrown that we're having a kid. And it's like a new relationship. Whoa. So anyway, I think it'd be really fun. And then who knows? It'd be fun story to tell down the road, you know, when we actually do have kids. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? No. Next message. Oh, no. First off, you're going to kill your oh, grandma. No. Okay, and then you're already planning on kids? She gave you the no, loser line. It was his mom he yeah. wanted to call. Oh, sorry. She's going to be a grandma. Get it? Oh. Get it? Yeah, oh. see, it's a bad prank. It's just a terrible <laughs> prank. It's not... Far from some of the submissions we get for phone taps. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know? true. And I think I've heard that joke already by Kevin Hart, so you can't steal jokes that way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that what it is? It's yeah. closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you like TikTok, well, I don't know. Let's say you don't like TikTok and you never used it before. You can start your day off right and download the app for cool kids. Yeah. Are you doing an ad for TikTok? Yeah, yeah. that way you can see our number one loser line uh, of the week oh. and feel like you're a part of the in crowd. Oh, okay. yeah. And add on to the 15 weekly likes that it gets. <laughs> It's straight fire, and we can get her messages mm -hmm. like this one. Next message. Um, hey, Rob, this is Crystal. Um, I had a great time with you the other day, and I I kind of mentioned it, but not exactly that I'm psychic. Um, 
And last night I had a dream about you. I know that we met recently, but I needed to just call and share because you were zip lining in my dream and going just uncontrollably fast, oh. like Uh-oh. into the mouth of a dragon. Oh. Okay, so I just needed to call. Usually I'm a texter, but I needed to reach out because I'm really concerned. Um, you know, you said that you've always wanted to travel to China and visit the Great Wall. And like, I, I honestly, I don't know if they have dragons in China, but I just want to warn you, if you actually are going to China, do not wear any clothing with zippers. What? Next message. Uh, what? Yeah. So, a lot of times whenever I've seen psychics on TV or radio, I think they sound fake. Mm. But this girl seems 100% legit. Yeah. I like that she doesn't necessarily <laughs> believe in dragons. She's just on the fence. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they may have them. I'm not really sure. I haven't checked in lately. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if they're in China yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Next message. Hey, Ginger, this is... I assume you remember me. You know, we met at the bar the other night, but we uh, were vibing pretty hard. Uh, you disappeared on me, so, but, you know, glad you gave me your number so I could call you. I was wondering if you'd be interested in completing my collection, and <laughs> here's the situation. Uh, in my life, I've dated girls named Sage, oh. Rosemary, oh. Pepper, Jasmine, <laughs> and Poppy, no. and, you know, since your name is Ginger... Oh feel like you'd be a perfect fit and wanted to see if you'd uh, like to spend the night seasoning each other up, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know where to hit me up and what to do, so I'm waiting for you to do it. Oh. Next message. Oh, dude, he's like the creepiest fan of the Spice Girls. Yeah. That there is. yeah. And Ginger's a root, okay, buddy? So uh, yeah. <laughs> go find yourself a sweet potato. Yeah, Let's there talk. You go. <laughs> move on to nutmeg and flax seeds. Yeah, we're talking. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Flaxseed. Yeah. <laughs> listen to Loser Line regularly at this time or on one of our many affiliates across North America. Plus, follow and subscribe to our YouTube, Insta, and our TikTok. Yeah. All of it at Brooke and Jeffrey. Let's do a phone tab coming up next. <laughs>